What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. You know what? I need a new intro. We've, we've started we've started this whole phalange thing since we have the finger of high adventure. Maybe it's what's going on phalanges. Maybe that needs to be the new thing. And I need a title. That's just all there is to it. I, I We need to figure that out right here right now. The Duke of Phalanges maybe? Earl of Phalanges? I wouldn't mind being an Earl. The Marquis of Phalanges. French, I don't know if I'm feeling the French theme or not. Sir Phalange. His Honorable Phalange. Phalange Esquire. Oh, I kind of like that one. The Reverend Phalange. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I could, uh, that maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We are heading down to a section of the South Carolina coast I have not been to yet, so I'm pretty excited to go explore it. Got about 35 minutes or so before we get down there, driving in some beautiful South Carolina country, so I'll catch you guys when we get down there. y'all here we are heading up one of these little inlets here i just kind of picked a spot on the map and decided hey let's give it a try we're about two hours from low tide you can see a lot of this grass is still kind of in the water a little bit I want that to drop because at high tide all the bait fish run up well, i guess they don't run up they swim up into all these grasses and that's how they get away from all the big fish but at low tide all the grasses aren't in the water so then the big fish come out and begin to feed on the mullet. We're gonna to try to call a mullet today and not herring. I can't promise though that we're not gonna slip a few times. All right, I am in the Hobie Mirage Outback. This is the 2020. Always have a few people ask me and I love it because as you guys can see right now, I'm standing up in it and I can do stuff like fish while I'm standing, throw a cast net while I'm standing, even though my cast netting skills are still like a RuneScape pry level I don't know, maybe 25 now, 25, 28, something like that. Definitely out of Noobville, but definitely not, uh, haven't mastered it yet, that's for sure. Oh, saw a bunch of mullet jump right there. See, yeah, they're all bunched up right there. Oh, I see some shrimp jumping too, but I see them all bunched up right by those weeds right there. That's where they're all gonna be hanging out. Oh, we got shrimp though. Oh, we got a lot of shrimp. We got some good size shrimp in there too. All right, guys, check this out. We're gonna open our porthole here. Oh man, we got some good size shrimp. Oh, I gotta clean this out. Come on, come on now. There we go. Oh guys, check this out, check this out. Look at these guys. Guys, these are definitely some of the biggest white shrimp I've caught coming down to the coast here. Look at those. Those are, now those are eaten size. I've caught a lot that are like, all the shrimp that I've caught so far have been about like this size right here. But look at this. Look at that size comparison. That's eating, eating shrimp right there. Man, that was awesome. Let's find some more of these little, little cutaways along the bank. I'll bet you there are more shrimp to be had. Not a bad way to start the day. Oftentimes when I throw the net, I'll see them start jumping. I don't see any jumping on that throw right there. Oh wait, no, no, no. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're in there. They're in there. Yes. Another shrimp haul. Well, not as many in that throw, not as many. But there are a few, some decent sized ones in there too. Oh yeah, just gonna drop them on the deck. We'll pick them up in a minute. There we go, just like that. Yeah, I'm seeing little mullet jump around the reeds. That's what I'm hoping to get for bait. Yes. Oh wait, I think I got a mullet in there too. Uh, no, it's a little pinfish, it might be. Or no, that's like a, what is that? First we got big old shrimp, check that out. That reminds me of a redfish almost. We'll drop him back in just in case. That's definitely not a pinfish. We'll grab these few shrimp that are on the deck though. Oh my goodness guys, look what we just caught. Look what we just caught. This is a first. Oh, you wanna talk about good bait. So we got some mullet on the deck. 
We got little, like, what, what are these, like squid? Or what do they call these, uh, like cuttlefish? Look at this, look at that, look at that. Little cuttlefish. There, I got two of them, there's this one, then there's this guy over here. Look at that, cuttlefish. Oh, you can't tell me you're gonna get something on that. Oh, ho, ho. we'll drop these in with the shrimp. Actually, you know what, no, 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 we're gonna take these guys. Look at, oh look, he's latching onto me, look at that, look at that, he's latched on. Oh, that is so cool. We're gonna pop him, ouch, oh gosh, he just bit me. Okay, that was a little dramatic, but he just bit me. Oh, I was not expecting that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that was a tad dramatic. We're gonna pop him out. Oh, we're gonna pop him out. Oh. He drew blood, look at that right there. Okay, that was a tad bit more dramatic than it actually was, but that was really unexpected. <laughs> like, to get bit by this little cuttlefish. I was not ready. I wasn't ready. Anyway, we are right at low tide. Well, we're about 30 minutes from low tide, the peak of low tide. So let's go ahead, get a fishing rod out here, get started doing some fishing. All right, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna fish out a little mullet. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off using some cut bait. Take our little knife. Ah, don't go anywhere. They're getting hard to come by as it starts getting colder. They're not as plentiful as they were even a couple weeks ago, it seems like. All I'm gonna do is just rig them right through the eyes. Like that. Perfect. And we've got like some, looks like some like structure. The first structure I've seen, got a tree in the water, got some sort of weird wall there. We're going to uh, gonna clean the deck off a little bit. But we're gonna just throw this, throw this guy over there. I've got a Carolina rig here with the bead. It's like a half ounce or one ounce sinker, about maybe 14 inches away from the bait. Just, oh. Oh, oh, you could not get any closer than that right there. Throw this right in. I'm gonna make sure our drag is somewhat loose here. Oh, there's a bite right there. We got a little tap that time. Still got bait though, still got bait. Oh man, I missed him. Finally get a good bite. Thought it was a good bite anyway. Get back in there. Oh, there's a nibble. Come on, come on. Must not be very big if he's just nibbling it. He took my bait, didn't he? You bum. You bum. Plucked me clean. Get him? No. Uh, must be some small fish down there. I don't know what it would be. Maybe pinfish? I don't know. There are a lot of small fish in and around this cover. Might just be pinfish. Yeah, I'm just this thing's just getting pecked to death. I even switched to a smaller hook. And yeah, my bait's just getting pecked off. So go hit some of those docks that we passed on our way over here. A uh, little rundown dock action. This looks like it could produce something. Let's see here. So what I've done is actually taken, we had like a 25 pound leader on, but I've taken that off, gone to this little octopus hook. Whoa, careful. And then I have this little shrimp right here that we're just gonna hook gently through the tail. Boom, just like that. And we're gonna fish these pilings and shrimp away. I'm not a massive fan of fishing with shrimp because it comes off the hook so dang easily. And I just, I like the cut bait. I like the mullet. It stays on a lot better. Plus you usually get bigger fish with the mullet, but there's a bite. Oh, the head of our shrimp is gone. It's usually a good indication that you've uh, had a bite. <laughs> oh, missed him. Missed him. Right there. See, shrimp gone. It's good bait. It just comes off easily. Dang it. Did he pluck me clean? Ah, he did. I'm done. I'm done. That's like the fifth shrimp that has gotten eaten. And I've got like the smallest hook I can possibly have on, on. And I'm still getting took. So, 
All right, kind of bummed we couldn't get anything there, but that's just sometimes how it goes when you're fishing new spots. We're gonna go ahead and head to our camp now and get set up. Fortunately, our camp is right next to the ocean, so I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. We've got plenty of bait for tonight, maybe even for some fishing in the morning as well, depending on how the bite is this afternoon. So we're gonna get back, get set up, and start doing a little surf fishing. So I'll see you guys at camp. All right, getting all loaded up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these shrimp, look at this. Look at that. Just all kinds of shrimp right there. Good size shrimp too. I'm gonna put them in our Ziploc bag here. These are actually eating size shrimp. These are definitely the biggest shrimp I've caught so far on the coast. And I don't know if it's just like, as the season goes on, they get bigger. Maybe I just got lucky and found some bigger ones, but these are at least two to three times the size of the ones that I've eaten in past videos. They were, uh, they were pretty small, no lie. They still tasted good, don't get me wrong, but uh, just not a lot to eat. Like you didn't even have to take the shell off the body. They were that small, you'd cook them up and, uh, and then you could just eat the whole thing. So we're gonna just lay them out like that. Get the air out of the bag, there we go. And I've got some ice here. These will be delicious later. Put something that should keep them nice and cold until we're ready to eat them later on. You know, we didn't get any fish, but we got something at least. We can eat the shrimp. That's better than nothing. All right, we are here. Starting to unload a little bit already. Check this out, check this out. Got like a marsh area right back here, right in the back of the campsite. I can actually hear the ocean. Ocean's right over there, just like right on the other side of these dunes. Maybe, maybe 100 yards walk. Just an absolutely gorgeous day here, but enough with the day. We need some fish. So we're gonna go ahead and get our tent set up and we're gonna get down to the beach, get in on some surf fishing here. All right, these are our digs for the night. Oh, but there's no rest. Tide's still coming in. It's gonna be coming in for probably the next like mm, two hours. So we're gonna get out there, do a little evening fishing, a little evening surf fishing, but got the camp set up. This is a Napier tent. I'll have a link in the description below. In fact, pretty much everything you see in this video, I will have links in the description below if you guys want anything. Enough of that though, let's get fishing. Oh, I'm so excited. I love surf fishing. Oh, what a gorgeous afternoon. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, guys, first rod. We have one of our finger mullet on here live. We've got a four ounce sinker on the big 10 Fierce 3 rod and reel combo. Oh, I like that right there. Right past where the waves are breaking. There should be some game fish looking around out there and check this one out this is actually the pen raft rod and reel setup we have the head of one of the larger mullet on again just a circle hook this is actually i think a three ounce sinker should still be okay because it's pretty calm out this evening oh guys get a bite on the big rod get a bite on the big rod this is the live live mullet I'm gonna reel it in, see if we've still got bait on. He hasn't bumped it in a minute. What do we got? Oh, look at this, look at this. Yeah, see something just ate the whole body off. Check that out. Just the heads left. Could have been a small shark. That's it. Let's get another one on there. Oh my goodness, guys, we got a bite. It's taking drag. We got him. We got him here. This is on the head. We got him on the head. All right, it just bent. It just bent. All right, this is half the battle. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, first fish. First fish of the evening. No idea what it is. Look at that. Ooh, she's singing. She's singing. Just hit the surface out there. She's about probably 25 yards out. 
can't tell what it is. If it's coming up to the top, that's good. Might be anyway, I don't know. We'll all find out together, hopefully. Ah, big wave. If it's a ray, I don't want it to pancake on the bottom because they'll suction down on the bottom and then you can't move them. So I'm trying to keep her moving. If this is a ray, right there, what is it? Oh, now she's running. Yeah, she's getting, wait, wait, wait. This might be a redfish. No, this is, I don't think this is a ray. I don't think this is a ray. I think this is a redfish right here. Oh, this is a bull. If this is a redfish, this is a big one. This is the biggest one I've ever caught. I see a tail. I don't think I see a ray fin. Come on, we've come this far together, baby. Now is not the time to get off. Oh, this is a big old tubby. This is a personal best if we can get it in. Oh yeah, come on, come on this way. Yeah, oh yeah, big redfish. Guys, there's a slot limit with these. They've gotta be between 15 and 23 inches. I guarantee you this one is over 23 inches. Look at that, look at that toad. That's definitely over 23 inches right there. Let's get her up this way, there we go. Yes, oh my word, look at that right there. She even left the head of the mullet for me. Oh, that's a bull. <laughs> oh, that is a beast. That is a beast. That's a piggy. That's a certified high adventure piggy right there. Oh my heavens. Oh my word. Hooks right there. That I've got a 30 pound mono leader on. Did its job there. Definitely it's got a, a fairly decent amount of like kind of sandpapery. Almost reminds me of like a catfish on the mouth. Oh, look at that fish right there, guys. Oh my word, look at that. That's a bull redfish right there. I thought at first maybe we hooked a ray, but when it started to come to the surface, it was like, wait a second. Cause the rays will suction cup to the bottom. And uh, that was definitely not a ray. Ah, oh, pretty fish. This is my first bull redfish here in South Carolina. Oh, what a fight. Let's measure her up. I'm gonna go, I'll bet she's about 30 inches would be my guess. Oh my word. There's actually a measuring stick on the side of this. Oh my word, it's it's longer than than the, the tape on the side of my uh, cart here. It's longer than 29. Let's see, it goes to right about there on the fish. Run it down. Another five. Yeah, about 34. About 34 inches. Wow. That's definitely over the slot limit between the 15 and 23. So we'll go ahead and drop her back in. There we go. There she is. Gonna be, you're gonna be all right. Oh, wait for this wave as well. There we go. Oh man, what a fish. There she goes. Yeah, <laughs> woohoo. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. That was pretty cool. Right back at it. Nice. All right, guys, we got the lights on, got them set up on our wagon. We did just miss a bite. Both rods have cut bait now on them. And the big rod just got a really good hit. But that's the second time now, but nothing's taken it. I really want something to cook over the fire tonight. I wanted to cook that redfish over the fire, but uh, I'd probably have the uh, South Carolina fish and game at my door within probably the week of publishing this video. <laughs> Whoa, guys, guys, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got a runner here. We got a runner. Oh, look at that. Oh, we are hooked up. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. I just looked over. 
no, no, no. Okay, come on. Uh, I just looked over and the rod was just bent. Just bent. Whatever it is, it's got some weight to it. Maybe this might be our stingray right here. What is it? What is it? Yeah, it's a ray. Little ray. No, 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 no. Come on in. No, no. Hit that wave right there, right on in. There we go, there we go, there we go. Just back her up. Ooh, I'll get her into the light here. That should be far enough up. Whoa, that was a little late night battle there. Sweet. Let's grab our gloves. Ooh, look at that right there. Well, that's not bad for a late night catch. If it were a little smaller, if it were a little bit smaller, I'd consider trying Stingray for the first time, but that's quite a big ray. And if I don't like it, I don't want to waste that much fish. Let's get a load of this barb right here. There it is. Ooh, that will mess you up. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. No bueno. All right, let's get her back in the water. Here you go, guys. Big old ray. I'll bet it's close to, right close to two feet across. This is heavy. This is a real heavy. She really took off right when she first got hooked, but then it was just that dead weight. And I was like, yeah, I know what this is. So get her ahead and get her back in the water. Nice, a little late night action. Well guys, I decided to call it a night after that ray. It had been probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours since I caught that redfish. Between the time I got the redfish to the ray and uh, just the bite died at night and the tide's starting to go back out. So I don't know if it's a combination of starting to get colder at nights around here and the tide's going out. Um, it's night, I don't know, just the bite was dead. So decided let's come back. Got a nice little fire going here. I can't believe I'm actually making a fire at the beach. It's so crazy because I feel like it was just like two weeks ago. It was really hot and beautiful here. And now, like, it's chilly. I've got my jacket on. And uh, it's going to be quite cool tonight. I think it's going to be like low 50s. So, weather's definitely changing even here at the coast. Got our skillet here. With some butter. Fresh lemon. Squeeze the juice in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little garlic powder to this as well. Get a nice little hashtag butter bath going. All right, look at that. Much larger shrimp this time around. Go ahead and lay them right down in the butter. A couple nice handfuls here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with these. I've got a little of this Mojo Citrus Blend. I'm gonna dabble a little bit of that over everything and we'll stick with some tried and true old bay as well a little citrusy shrimp that's kind of hard to say say it three times fast stir all that around in the butter all right i think that looks like it's about done look at that right there oh that is a good looking skillet of shrimp right there there's a bigger one let me see if i can pull that guy out right there there you go fresh right off of those coals. Well, enough admiring them, let's go eat them. Now there is definitely a better size shrimp. We technically have eaten white shrimp, but uh, I don't even think they sell those ones in the store that we've eaten in past videos. They were pretty small. Still delicious, but they were small. The key to shrimp is not to overcook them or else then they're super, super chewy. Mm, just a few minutes just a few minutes over the fire stirring regularly mm. man finger licking good so i found my camp partner what should we name him i feel like you're a crew i don't know why dude you're cool out here just stay out here i'm gonna zip up the tent and you just chill out here he's finding all the shells that i threw down here from the shrimp. 
See, even the raccoons like the shrimp that we cooked tonight. It's like, man, do I taste a little citrus here? A little citrus seasoning? I could definitely get that Old Bay. Mmm, of course you can't go wrong with that butter, garlic, and lemon. Yeah, get after that, man. Do yourself a favor. All right. Take it easy, Gru. There's plenty out there. I ate a lot. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, oh, I'm all crusty, crusty from the salt water. Mmm, that's really good. Finishing the day off with some promised land whole milk midnight chocolate. I tell you what, after a long day of fishing, a good hearty chocolate milk, you almost can't go wrong with it. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have probably been wondering, did I get eaten alive by no CMs today? Yes, I did. I learned what no CMs are today. If, if you know the little gnat that's green, if you know what I'm talking about, these are about five times smaller than that. They're very hard to see why they call them no CMs, but they land on you and they bite you or they try to eat you. I don't know what it is, but I go out, well you guys saw me, all I had was my swimming suit on. I'm watching all these other fishermen leave the, the, the boat launch. They've got like long sleeve shirts on, long pants on, and I'm like, it's like 75 degrees out. It's beautiful out here. <laughs> I mean, just get some sun. No, they weren't worried about the weather. They, being the local gurus, uh, knew that on a nice calm day, you will get eaten alive by the no -seums if you don't have the proper fishing attire. Well, your boy did not have the proper fishing attire. I do now. After about an hour of fighting him, I just kind of was like, whatever. And I just, I'm surprised I didn't like paddle back and it was just a skeleton. I mean, these little things are nasty. And for something that is so small, their bite hurts. You know when you get bit by an Oseum. It's not like, oh, whoa, they're, they're all over me. No, no. I, I, I'm, I don't know what it is, but they hurt. And I'm so, like, it's shocking the amount of pain that, like, this little dust mite can pack. So basically, welcome to the south. More bugs, more things that like to take a bite out of you. So. It is time for bed. Gonna get up early in the morning. I've got a fishing spot I wanna go to down the beach. It's about a mile walk, but there's a little inlet that dumps out into the ocean. Saw it on Google Maps. Looks pretty sweet. So if we're gonna do that, better get some sleep. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube fam. Six o'clock in the morning. High tides in 30 minutes. It's not gonna be light for like another hour though. <laughs> Load up the cart, get down to the fishing spot. Oh, Ooh, I don't wanna leave the tent. We gotta do it. Let's go. All right, we made it. Here we are, beautiful overcast morning. Obviously a little windier than yesterday, but here's the inlet right here. It just runs all the way back up. And as this tide starts to go out, we're right at the peak of high tide. This water is gonna start running back out to the ocean. And hopefully those fish are gonna be sitting anywhere from right about here all the way out here. Just waiting for stuff to be carried out of the inlet. Hopefully they'll be gorging themselves out here. So one of the reasons I wanted to get out here so early first was because of the tide and wanting to make sure we got here, you know, perfect timing with the tide, but also, there are like some VRBOs right over there. And I have found out that there are a lot of retired people that come down to the South Carolina coast this time of year because it's not the busy season. And a lot of these guys love to fish. So they'll get out here like first thing in the morning and just park themselves on a spot and literally fish for like 10 or 12 hours. So I kind of had to get out here and beat the retired fishermen out here because uh, like I said, once they get planted, 
They're, they're, they, they don't move. They don't move. And the fishing can be bad. Like, they're catching like one fish an hour, two hours. And they'll still sit out there for 10 or 12 hours. I found that out the hard way about a week ago uh, at a pier that I went to. And these guys just, they, they sat on the pier and there was no fishing on the pier. Like, not until like five o'clock. They were out there at first light and they were there till supper time. It was crazy. Never underestimate a retired fisherman and his love to fish. This guy's the star, this show. Right here. This is the cut bait. Got him. Got him. Alright. That's the head of the mullet. Woo! That's that's six, seven minutes in the water. Six, seven minutes in the water. Fish on already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I feel a head shaking, so I don't think this is gonna be a ray. Tighten this up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, she's running up the inlet. I don't want her to get tangled in my other line. Come this way. Oh, yeah. Come on. What is it? Is it a shark? Is it a redfish? Definitely doesn't feel like a ray. I feel a lot of head shaking. Yeah, yeah look at that. Woo, early mornings. Paying off. Oh, she's right there. It's okay. We've got all day. I think this is a redfish. I don't see any tall tail of a shark here. Ah! Come on. Come on. What do we have? Man, it's still kind of low light. Can't quite tell. Oh, it's a redfish. Yeah, yeah, we're a redfish. Now, this isn't as big as the one last night. We're, oh, this one's gonna be close to in the slot limit. It's gonna be close to that slot limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up this way. Come up this way. Oh, I'm all tangled up in the line. Oh, no, this is still a bull. This is still a bull. That's not gonna be in the 23. Ah, come here, come here. Yeah. Yes, first thing this morning. Oh, oh. Oh, my word. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Ah, oh, just another pig. Another piggy. Woo! Oh my. Woo! Oh, grab the pliers here. Oh my goodness, look at that fish, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! There we go. Oh, let's measure her up along the side of our cart here. Oh yeah. Oh, that, it's gonna be close to yesterday's actually. Let's see, right there. Nine. One, two, three, four. This is 33. One inch smaller. Woohoo! 33 inches. Ah. 10 inches over the slot limit. Oh man, what a pretty fish. <laughs> Look at that fish right there. That is another bull redfish. <laughs> oh, man, what a way to start the morning. Right on that mullet head for cut bait again. Oh man, uh, let's get her back in. Oh, there goes that rod. There goes this rod. We got it, we got it. This is on the live mullet. Oh. Just getting ready to release this other red. Live mullet just got nailed. Let's go! Outgoing tide, baby. Whatever's out there starting to feed. This doesn't feel quite as heavy as what we just hit. Oh, I think we have another redfish. I think we have another redfish. If this is another one, guys, this might be a slot limit. Come on. Ride that wave in. Come on. Man, these things just fight. It's such a good fight. Come on. 
Yeah, there we go, there we go, right there. Come on in the surf. Come on, wave, push in. Yeah, ride this wave in right here. Yeah, come on. Up the beach, up the beach, up the beach. Yes, oh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh my word. That is some action right there. <laughs> oh, look at that fish. Look at that fish. Let's first get this bull back in the water here. Man, what a fight. That was awesome. Sweet, there she goes. There she goes, all right, let's check this one. Oh, come on. Come on. Where are we at? Oh no, it's not even in the slot limit. It's 25 inches. Dang it. 25 inches. Oh man, we were close. Gotta be in the 23. <laughs> Dang it, guys. We were so close. Two inches shy. I thought we had it. Man, look at that. That would just be, that's a lot of meat. And if you've had redfish before, they are delicious. It's okay, the morning's still young. Let's get her back in the water. Let's get those lines back out. That's two fish in like 15 minutes. So, oh, man, this is what I'm talking about. This was worth the mile walk down and getting up at six o'clock in the morning for right here. Beautiful fish. She's taking a run. Oh, she's right here. Hey, I'll take that. Come on in. What is this? Oh, this is a, oh, check this out. Check this out. This is a blue fish. These are good bait. Check that out. Some people say they're good to eat. Um, some people say they're real oily. So it's, apparently it's just like all in the way you prep them. But these are also apparently good shark bait as well. My bait is kind of starting to dwindle a little bit. I've had a lot of hits and it might be these guys right here stealing my bait. They've got, I, well, you're not gonna be able to see that. They definitely have some teeth on them. This guy's probably about, oh, probably about 14 inches long. We'll measure them up. But we're gonna keep this. This is gonna be some bait for maybe pulling in a big old shark. Here we go, here we go, another bite, another bite. Should I get him? Oh, I don't know. Yes, we did. Wait, what is this? We might have another bluefish. Might have another bluefish. I'll keep it. If it is. Yep, another blue. Another blue. Oh, good size right there. That's good bait. We're gonna throw this on a hook. Not the, not the whole thing. We're gonna throw the head on a hook. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, come here. This is probably about uh, 12 inches or so. I think we're gonna take a big old steak off this. We're gonna kill him, dispatch him really quickly. I was reading online that this can be good redfish bait as well. For inquiring minds, I popped him in the head with the knife on the other side, so he gone. Big bluefish steak right there. Let's see if that'll turn into a redfish. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. This is on the bluefish. Whoa. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This is on the bluefish. Whoa, look at this. Look at that reel. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. She's screaming. She screamed. Oh no, did it come off? Oh no, did it come off? Oh my word. How did it come off? Oh, we lost it. Oh my goodness. She just, it's gone. I don't know what happened, but she's just peel and drag. That did not, it didn't even stop. I think she might have clipped the line. Yeah, it's, the, the whole thing's gone. The whole thing's gone. Oh, I just saw a bunch of mullet jump right there. There's bait fish in the area. Oh my word. Everything, it's just all snapped off. Oh man. 
Oh my goodness. We'll never know. I mean, it, you guys saw, I mean, it just, it didn't stop until the line broke. I, it, it, I, I have no idea. That was on that bluefish though. That was on that bluefish. We've got plenty of it. And we got plenty of hooks and sinkers. So we're gonna get back out there. Oh my goodness. That was insane. Here we go. That big, nice oily, bloody piece of bluefish. Get it back out on the big rod. Send it! Nice. There has been so much action. I haven't even been able to get to my breakfast. Mmm. A little powder donut. This tide is really starting to rip out of this inlet. I mean, it's, it's flowing fast right out this way. Those big fish are gonna be hanging out there just waiting for all that junk get pushed right out into the open ocean. Who knows what could be out there? Reds, sharks, black drum, Spanish mackerel. I mean, it, anything. We're getting bit. Oh yeah, we're getting bit right here. This is the bluefish. Got him. Got him. Yep, got him. There we go. Woohoo! Guys, I just saw a bunch of bait right down here just, just kind of spit along the surface. So there's something down there. Now he's not really running. Whatever this is. Seems to be shaking pretty good though. That's crazy. I mean, just like three minutes ago, the, all the bait right down here like started spraying everywhere. Then all of a sudden, bam, got bit. I think this is gonna be another red. That's what I think. The way it's shaking its head, I think it's a red. Absolutely, yeah, another big bull red. She's not gonna be in the slot, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Come here, just another bull. But this one's around 30 inches as well. Come here. Come here. Woohoo! Oh my word. Yes. Enjoyed that bluefish, didn't you? Oh guys, no, I'm getting one on there. Look at that. Oh, I've got one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we've doubled up. Okay. Okay, I've got to hope that stays on. Come here. Come here, baby. We got one over here. Okay. Ha. Set this right here. I got one here. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> oh my word. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This one, I put bluefish on this one as well. This is unreal. This is unreal. Oh my heavens. Ah, oh, surf fishing. Does it get any better than this? I don't know what this one is. It's definitely not a ray, which is a good sign. I guess it's gonna be another red. Yeah, another red. Oh, this one's gonna be close to a slaughter right here. This one might fit in the slot, I don't know. Oh man, do we have a keeper here? It might be. Gotta get her in first, come on. On that bluefish. Come on, come on, right off the bat. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my word, oh my word. Come on, come on. <laughs> we doubled up, we doubled up redfish. Look at that. Oh my heavens. Are you kidding me? Oh my word. Good grief. There's two. All right, the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna see if this one fits in the slot or not. I'm gonna say it's gonna be like 24 or 25 again. I hate to say it, but I think it's gonna be. Let's measure it. This is a handy little measuring thing on the cart. Actually, that's 20, that's like 27 and a half. Actually, that is, that's 28. It's a 28 incher, not even close. Five inches over. So a 28 incher. Uh, let's see how big this one is, just a, a pig. 
Just an absolute, <laughs> look at that fish. Good grief, oh, wrong side, wrong side. Let's see, there it is, to 29, to that point on the head. Yeah, that's a th about 33, another 33 incher right there. Oh my word, another 33 incher. Woo! <laughs> Look at this, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, another 33 inch bowl right there. Guys, this is unreal fishing. Hands down the best surf fishing day I've ever had. And I haven't had many, but I feel spoiled. It's gonna be hard to top this. It's gonna be hard to top, but I feel like we're gonna. This is incredible. Here's one. Gonna be all good. There she goes. And then the final bull. What, what a joy. What a joy. Good, good. Oh yeah, you fine too. There she goes. Both off and happy. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, look at that. Is there something in it? Oh, there he is. Look at that. Little dude's been left high and dry. That's pretty. It's a really pretty shot. We'll help you out. Come on. Come on. This is where you're going to want to be. There you go. You're welcome. Man, that's a really pretty one. That's cool. I adventure videos. Friend to the fish and the snail shell weird thingies. I, I don't know what exactly you call that. I think it's a snail, isn't it? I don't know. All right, we've gone ahead and pulled the fishing rods in because we're basically at this point, we're just fishing a tide pool. It, the water's dropped significantly. I had to check that out. Out there, well, a lot of glare, but right there, kind of, sort of, that's the sandbar and it's fully exposed. That's where you want to be fishing right now because this water's still running out, but it's basically just created this little tide pool here where we were catching fish when the water was, I don't know, about four feet higher, five feet higher. But you want to be out on that sand far, sandbar fishing out beyond that. That's where those redfish are, I guarantee you, and all the other bigger fish, sharks and everything. I can't head out that way though, unfortunately, because I've got to be out of my campsite in like, I don't know, yeah, in about an hour. So that's okay. We'll save it for next time. I think what we might do, get back, get packed up, then we might still do a little beach fishing. I've still got some bait. I've got that other blue fish. We might see if we can get a shark, maybe another big redfish. I don't know, maybe a slot sized redfish. I don't know, just, I'm not done yet. I don't feel like I'm ready to be done. We're all the way down here. It's a beautiful day. Finally starting to warm up a little bit. I think we might keep doing a little fishing. So anyway, let's get back and get out of the campsite and see what we want to do. Uh, check this out. I think I found a sand dollar. Is it whole? Yeah, it's whole and it's dead. Oh man, I was walking back, just decided to walk close to the beach because the sand is compact, closer to the water, and makes it for easy, easy carrying the cart. But look at that, that's awesome. My wife messaged me last night, sent me a little video of my little girl, Arabella, asking for me to bring home a shell. So there you go, boo. Papa got you a shell. Oh, another one. Oh, check this out. Is he intact? Oh, he's a little chipped. A little chipped right there, right there. But man, for the most part, that looks really good. It's like the same color. There's a little bit of a chunk taken out right there. That looks really good. Oh, sweet. There's one for my son. Look at that. Man, that's pretty. Doubled up on our walk back. Oh, another one. This is number three. Is it dead? Yeah, <laughs> it's dead. Good grief. Man, this beach is full of these things. That one's even prettier than the last one. All intact. I've made $3. <laughs> Seriously, guys, when I was younger, my dad would tell me about them catching sand dollars. I thought they were actually worth a dollar. And I thought it was so cool. Of course, I was pretty young and dumb back in the day. 
but seriously though, you probably could sell those for a dollar or two. I know they sell them in the stores. Somebody would probably buy it from you. Wait a second, I think I see another one up here. No joke. Wait, wait. Yeah, there it is, right here, right here. Look at that, good grief. Jackpot, baby. I don't know, is it like sand dollar month along the beach? Number four, one for everybody in my family here. We just got started down here and we're already on a fish. Just got set up, got the camp all packed away. I just barely got the lines out. I gotta keep it on that one. And we're already on a fish. I'm seeing pelicans hitting the surface or they're smashing the water out there like there's bait fish out there. They're diving for them. So that's a good sign. I literally just threw the rods out. Got both rods out like two minutes ago. Hasn't really taken any runs. I don't feel any head shakes. Oh no, this is a red, this is a red. Another redfish. Another redfish, check this out. Ooh, oh, this one might be close to a slot limit size too. Ooh, she's spunky. Oh man, just immediately, come on, yeah. Come on in, come on in, oh yeah. If that doubles over, go for it. Is that getting bit? It'll double over pretty good if, if she, if she, if it's something takes it. Oh man, this was gonna be barely too big again. I'll bet this is another 27, 28 incher right here. Come on. There we go, there we go, that's just coming up. Nice, look at this. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Whoa. Woo! You got him? That's a fast action right there. That is a pretty one, isn't it? Oh yeah, I could see I, I've gotten a big old bite taken out of the head yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Whew. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks You're for watching. You're not using I've got a, I got a four ounce weight. Oh, that's a four ounce. Yes, sir. This is the fifth one of the day. Yeah, go. Good eating. They are. They got to be in a slot limit between 15 and 23 inches, though, and I guarantee you that's over 23. Oh yeah. So that's a bummer. Cause yeah. they're, I mean, obviously they're delicious, but yeah. it's a fun fight, but dang it, I want to eat one. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Thank you, sir, for getting on that one. Hey, I wish you would have got him. That would have been awesome. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, thank you. Thanks for grabbing it. That is 29 inches long. So you can't, it's got to be between 17. Between 15 and 23. So the closest I've gotten today is 25. So uh, <laughs> pretty fish though, yeah. pretty fish. Well, have a good day. Thank you, sir. You too. Thank you for grabbing my hat. I appreciate it. Guys, my hat flew down the beach and the kind lady went and grabbed it. When I was pulling her in, I was like, well, it's definitely not one of the bigger bulls that I've caught so far this trip. I thought maybe she'd be a little smaller, but I mean, technically yes, but no. I'll head on out that way. There she goes. Yeah! Wow. Wow. Well, that is what I call fast action right there. Woo! This is all I had on right here. Just a big middle section. This is actually uh, one of the larger mullet that I was using. I left my bait too, so we're gonna throw that back out there. Send it! Nice. Right back out in the redfish bang zone. So apparently when I was reeling that fish in, my other rod got a bite because one of the gentlemen that were standing by what I was chatting with, he was like, hey, you get a bite on this one. So he jerked, missed the fish, but when he pulled it up, that head had a big old chunk taken out of it. So, I mean, two bites. I mean, right within two minutes in the water, both rods. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm getting in on this just right, but we are here just right. This is insane. I mean, this is like, I, I, it's gonna be hard to talk this kind of day. Get out. I made a sand man. <laughs> I buy 
alive, little dude. Yeah. Oh, guys, we just got a hit. Oh, man, we just got a good bite right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Oh, no, I missed him. Dang it. Dang it. We had him. Wait, no, no. No, we got him. We got him. There he is. There he is. She's just running towards me. Oh, right there. Oh, it's a big old bull right there. Right there in the surf. Whoa, it's, whoa, that was a big old shark. That was a big old shark. Whoa, that was cool. Whoa. So that is what's running right there. Broke everything off. I'll bet that is exactly what broke me off earlier. This morning, when it started to run. Oh, that was crazy. YouTube fam. That actually ends my fishing day because that was the last pyramid sinker I had. And with the tide coming in like this, I've tried the other sinkers, but they're not staying in place. Only the pyramid sinkers are able to keep my line where I need it. The other sinkers, like they're just getting caught up in the surf and it's just getting drug right into the, right into the shallow. So, well, I'm glad we were at least able to cook a little something up. The shrimp were fantastic. You know, that's about how it goes. My last couple of surf fishing videos, I've been trying to get the redfish. I've caught nothing but redfish today. Now I want a shark and I can't get one. Or I had one and that just busts right off. I'm definitely not complaining though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.